once upon a time, well, only a few days ago to some, a year ago to others, depending on how you look at it. In an unnamed northern city, there was the wedding of Jack and Jill, renowned artist couple. This, however, is not about them, but rather the story of an illicit love affair between Hilaria and Hannah, who met at the aforementioned wedding. Hannah, a bookish editor at the local paper and a member of the gallery crowd, was quite surprised to find herself so smitten by Hilaria, a multiculturally challenged chap from the bar group. But will their budding love be able to bridge the divide between Tanta Augusta and Patience? Will they help each other out from Toto's financial crutches? Will they crush each other to save themselves? Or will the city simply squash them with rising rents? Anyhow, they are hardly on speaking terms at this point. Only the goodwill of Asher, the lawyer, and lovely Anna might melt the ice in the bottle. In the meantime, honey is missing, the city is under has gone, development mad, and the various love affairs and infatuations may just save the day or ruin it. Why do 
I want my recipe here. New codes and regulations. Public safety. Those cakes have kept the public safe for 50 years. Where will you get your cake now, Poppy? Don't worry about me. That bureaucratic devil won't stop me. She'll keep baking, and I'll keep eating. No one can stop Poppy. Poppy has a glove. The puppy rod. After 12, he never comes after 12. The kid has a point. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll arrive in a minute. It's not like Nancy. Breakfast till 8.30. By 11, his stomach's round. And at 12, he's here. Half past 12 now. All are silent now. Apart from the card table that has divided itself into two factions. The worried and the calm. Door opens. Everybody hopes for Hansi. Enter location scout. The location scout sits downstage opposite the card table. She orders coffee, looks around, and then answers her mobile phone. I don't like this. The door creaks open. Everyone looks in anticipation. Hilaria, our Romeo, or is she our Juliet, enters. I've got the papers. It's not him. Have you seen Hansi? No, just the papers. And that lawyer, the one you met at the wedding, <coughs> he says he's coming over to talk to you. Hansi hasn't shown up yet. It's almost one. Silvan reaches over to take the newspapers from Hilaria. They look at each other. He's never come up to 12. You think he's sick? He calls when he's sick. To get some of Hansi's famous soup chicken. When is he leave? Maybe his phone is disconnected again. We met last week at the bank. He paid everything but the TV tax. Is he still fighting them? Always and forever. Strange. Where is he then? Don't worry, Poppy. I'm sure he'll pop up. Poppy is huddled with the card table. They are making a search and rescue plan. This first order. I'm going up to bring down the legal boxes. Um, did you pack them all? Hansi exits upstage and bring all the material for the post. Let me give you a hand. You stay here in case something happens. I'll call you when I'm ready. The location scout meanwhile opens her laptop with the shutting of her smartphone. The door opens again and everybody looks over at it. Enter Melanie. She walks around the bar, looking in corners and under tables. Something wrong? It doesn't seem medical. Well then, that's just what we need now. For heaven's sake, what is she looking for? Electricity. At one point, the hour wants an hour left. Electricity? Electricity. Quincy takes position, alert for want of electricity. Is the electricity not working again? 
It's working just fine. Hansi paid on time. Oh, you didn't understand. Their friend is missing. Why don't you call Hansi's mobile phone? Here you can use mine. What? Mobile? Hansi? That's a good one. You'd have better luck sending him a holding pigeon. A telegram? A message in a bottle, a singing telegram. Telepathy. If we could get online, we would track him or check his status. Is he on the map? What do you know about the net? When this was a wilderness, we had net walls. We had net walls. People helping each other, rescuing, hiding, hiding, sharing. Resistance operations. And now? And now? Just hiding behind fancy typewriters. Lazy paper shufflers. Scout, move aside. 
Good, the Girl Scout is gone. What was she searching for? The shop with a balcony or two. I thought she wanted a net. Ah, bravo, Fritzi. We have to get rid of that club. It attracts the wrong kind of people. Not now. Think of Hansi. We have to get the group together. Melanie and Location Scout exit. <coughs> <coughs> At least I don't leave messy papers. Ooh, the digital brigade. They're new. More and more come in. Is this a smoking bar? Do you have electricity for me? Is the beer pair trade? Sit and stare at the screen, no talking and no listening, not even a little bit of human contact. <laughs> smile, uh, wink, an accidental touch. Nothing to click with that's not plugged in. I've seen it all over the world. I just never really thought it would come here. Times are changing. But love doesn't. Neither do my lovely friends. Hansi and Gloria come back downstairs, papers in hand. Hansi is carrying an old file. Gloria carries legal boxes, two at a time. They sit at the table. Silvia returns to her vegetation.
currency perhaps of the night before, when no one had cash, so they paid with chicken eggs and brought their own vegetables. People will always need a place to keep, to sleep and eat. The good people of this community will never be brought down by some anti bureaucrat.
life guards may be in. We better ask Stern what they mean. I'm sure the lawyer would know. Doesn't he handle small businesses and renters' rights? He should focus on the big picture. Stern will know if there are any changes we need to make. She calls Hilaria over. Hilaria, I need you to go to Stern. Stern's fumigation or Stern's electric shop? Electric, it's <coughs> about this new light bulb law. Okay. I'll uh, call it by Spahn Hamdi. Hilaria Tell exits. Tell Stern to call Green. He should cover the Northern Square. Poppy turns back to the card table to continue <coughs> organizing the search. Heschel enters. Silvan smiles warmly at the door, not yet recognizing Heschel. Heschel is sober and professional. He smiles and says hello to everyone, shaking hands with Tanka and Gloria and taking a seat. Great news! I've come upon a regulation dating prior to the war. The property bought and registered is under Regulation 313-224, Section B, is protected from the construction division as long as it provides shelter to the local population. Gloria and Tante both look at Heschel without understanding. It means we have a shot. As long as we can prove that subsection B of Regulation 313-224 applies to the bar. But the potential of love for the war? True. The property, however, was built before the war. Then we should look through father's papers. Exactly. That's what we need to do, and we need to do it fast. We go to court on Friday. The judge hasn't allowed any more extensions. Three days? It took me three months to organize the first box. And it's been 30 years since those papers were last touched. I think we could use some help. I've taken the liberty of asking Hannah to go through the papers. I hope you don't mind. I don't think I know, Anna, but we could use the help. Can she be trusted? Three days, it doesn't leave us much time. Who's our judge? Holding an open letter. And uh, can you explain this to me? Yes, the light bulb law. Regulation 629 was issued by the Environmental Protection Department preventing wasteful energy use. I'm afraid I can't tell you. Which environment are they protecting now? That new billboard, <laughs> which crime trials at the intersection? That's fine. The new lights at the city hall near the fountain, where we demonstrate for the theatre spotlight. Still, I have to change my lights? Uh, the town has become much brighter. <laughs> lights attract more tourists. Tourists bring money. Tourists?
bumped into Hilaria at the door. Hilaria and Anna greet each other at the same time. Oh, oh hi. Uh, it's nice to see you again. Thanks. Funny to see you here. I'm like 
pretty long. No, they've taken it too. What? They'll build a complex? A what? A complex, a work life shop, or you know, stop. Great, it's on the bubble. And now I'm fortress of solitude. What's with your own? Ah, the new poses has been a hang around town. The wedding invitations. Hell, oh, that big billboard with a name with a flag. Well, Florian, what's the point? Silver, do you even look at signs? Uh, I saw the big one with the happy people in yellow that floated on the city wall. It's not a city. It's a mall. It's not a mall. It's a mall. Enjoy yourself. Tomorrow is a new day. New day, new letters, more regulations, more control. Tante. You're right. Tonight we enjoy. <coughs> Tante exits. Can I have a large lemonade? I'm 
need to serve. Your wish is my command. Serve, pass. As long as the bar is in between us. People and drink. We are where we are. And where is your freedom of choice? Supply and demand. So is with the smile. Well, as long as you are happy in your mini comfort zone. Bad news? Don't ask. Delaria is walking to the first <coughs> downstage. She is barely on. She is telling them the story of the gold bowl on Lost 348. Hunting came back. Yes, I saw him outside. He went up to Lost 308. Or so I heard. Lost 308? <coughs> the old cup of the diesel has a new name. Nothing 
wrong with what we have? Why should we run away? Sanitation makes it easier for the big fish. Elaria walks over to their table. Heschel, I <coughs> have to ask... Oh, sorry for interrupting. <coughs> uh, you, you aren't uh, interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> White light glows. A horrible invention. <coughs> I went to Shams today to get new light bulbs. The firms won't survive on these new lights. Ah, um, <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm not familiar with the regulations. They come out of the Environmental Office Energy Savings. They can save their energy by leaving us in peace. Yeah, we have better ways of saving our, using our excess energy. I've seen it happen before, down under in New Zealand. The white light wiped out a whole fern colony. Hemp should be incredibly resistant, especially to light. I told parents should be. Conditions just right. Poor plants. Those lights are a play. I didn't understand this law. In the light of a laptop, everything looks pale. Could you look at the energy saving regulation that is after you're done with? Or if you have the time? I would be happy to lend a hand. It seems so unfair to subject an ancient species. Such a goal, an sterile environment. The heart shaped spore has such a distinctive shape, a plate like pill, which hides it and protects it from harm. The red light, the red humidity, it's so beautiful, so rare, and so easy to overlook. You're passing for friends. It's a refreshing change from form to regulation. Not to mention three cardboard boxes of paperwork. Hunter won't say it, but I know she's really thankful for your help. Thank you. I will do what I can to help the band.